Yo guys, you will not believe this. Puget Systems just sent me this, wait for it, $10,000 PC. What? $10,000? Yes, $10,000 PC to review. Which honestly is mind boggling. Because that gives us the perfect opportunity to see how much better a high performing PC like this is over your average off the shelf computer. And I mean, listen, come a little closer. Between you and me, I've always been a bit skeptical about these high performing PCs being worth the cost and I'm sure many of you can relate to this PC struggle when you're trying to upgrade your computer and you're not exactly sure how much value you'll get if you go for the more expensive PC over the cheaper one, if you know what I mean. But ladies and gents, bags and baguettes, I am happy to announce that we can finally get an answer to this question because today's video is sponsored by Puget Systems and Nvidia and we get to basically do whatever we want with this computer which is properly called a data science PC that is retailed and masterfully crafted by Puget Systems in collaboration with Nvidia and I know what your first thoughts might be. I simply do not get it. What could possibly be in there that costs that much? Does this thing file your tax return for you? Does it heal all back pain? And listen, you are right to be skeptical. Honestly, I have my skepticism about expensive computers as well. And because I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep this computer or not when it's all said and done, let's stop delaying and try and figure out if the experience with this computer is so much better that I would be willing to maybe buy it with my own personal ducats. So let us begin. First things first, we need a project for reference. And boy, do I have just the project for you. I rarely have to talk by using my lips, but in the times that I do, you guys freak the hell out. <laughs> and so I came up with the perfect solution for this. What if I simply write an algorithm that will close my mouth and use that algorithm for all the times that I'm forced to talk by using my lips, all powered by AI and machine learning, of course. And now the question is, is using a high performing PC that much better at doing this? I mean, artificial intelligence is one of the biggest cutting edge technologies at the moment and as a lot of you guys express you want to get into it, this experiment should give you all a clear cut answer on what benefits spending more money on your computer should give you. So to find out the answer, I have written an algorithm that will look at a face frame by frame in a video, find the mouth in that frame, and then predict what that mouth would look like if it were closed. Then at the end, it will just stitch all these frames together to give you a new video but with the mouth always closed. Now I could just use my daily driver PC, but honestly I have spent a couple thousand dollars on this build and I think using a computer that is a lot more relatable will give you the most value. So I grabbed this regular off the shelf $200 computer that my mom had and we're going to compare these two instead. And running this algorithm on both computers will help us measure the difference between the two. So first up is the off the shelf computer. Now this computer is maybe something you'd buy for your school studies or maybe your parents own an equivalent to this or something. But because of the limitations of this computer, processing the mouth closing AI algorithm on this computer should take forever. Don't believe me? Check this out. If I just, wait, wait, what? I can't even install the tools that I need to run this algorithm? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yada, 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 yada. Not supported on this device. Uh, well then, um, it turns out that we can't even use this computer for testing. Let me explain. You see, I wrote that entire mouth closing algorithm first on Puget's data science PC. Then I thought I'd just be able to throw that script on the off the shelf computer to do a benchmark. But nope. I've been trying for hours and hours to get all the tools that I need to run the script on this off the shelf PC, but nothing was working. And then finally, I just straight up got the message, machine learning is not supported on this PC. <laughs> well, that's great. What's really interesting about this to me is that my hardware privilege is definitely showing hard right now. I've been lucky enough to use a pretty high performing PC when I started learning all this stuff. And due to that, I thought this stuff was locally possible for any PC. But uh, <laughs> yikes, I'm just gonna... Anywho, I guess we have no other choice but to just pivot and compare my daily driver computer to see what kind of benefits I'm missing. I'm just gonna port over everything to my PC, hit that start button, and... Error? Oh, no, not again. All right, 
I tried fixing the errors, but I'm throwing in the towel. After trying several things, the only error message I could get literally says, Did you ever try looking to see if a warning message was printed above this error message? You peasant. <sighs> when I wrote this video, I legit thought it was going to be a lot smoother of a process. But, you don't really care. You just want to know how great this computer is, and listen, that's fair. But, being the lazy bastard that I am, I know an infuriating, yet surefire way to get a benchmark from my daily driver PC. We're just gonna force it to process on its much slower, yet reliable, CPU, aka processor. And would you look at that, it worked first try. So I'ma just let that run and let Brackies take the wheel. But in the meantime, we have the data science PC, which I'm done trying to surprise you guys. Honestly, this thing is amazing. Unlike the other PCs, Puget Systems data science PC comes pre-installed with everything that you need out the box to get started. And after using it and going back to my old PCs, I truly understand the value this can add to a developer's life. It just works. And for all the nerds out there that are curious, this thing has two NVIDIA Titan RTX GPUs with 24 gigs of RAM apiece. It also has an Intel Xenon processor, 128 gigabytes of regular RAM, and that cable management. Mm -mm. But back to the objective. Now the algorithm on both PCs are the exact same. So I expect this PC to just breeze through this processing. And if we had start on it, <laughs> yep, we can see just how quickly it took the data science PC to catch up with my daily driver. For my daily driver PC, it took 55 minutes and 24 seconds to do a single processing pass on all the data. But for the data science PC, it only took two minutes and 14 seconds. That's a 24 times speed up for the first processing pass. And if we fast forward this process, we can see that it takes my daily driver PC more than three days to completely finish processing this mouth closing algorithm. But it only takes the data science PC three hours to do the same exact task. I want you to think about that for a second. Both PCs will give you the same result in the end, but one only takes three hours, while the other one will have you waiting for more than three days. That is quite amazing. Now, to be straight, yes, this is a bit of an unfair race. It's a bit like making a mere mortal compete in a race against Sonic. And <laughs> I'm talking even before the redesign. GPUs are magnitudes faster than most CPUs. But to be fair, this is a likely scenario. And now it's time to actually use the mouth closing algorithm. But wait, first, a quick message from our epic sponsors. Have you ever tried doing anything data science related and almost ended up pulling your teeth out due to all the various things that you need to install on your computer? Kind of like what unintentionally happened in this video. Well, the data science PC has a solution for that called Rapids, a GPU accelerated platform that comes preloaded on data science PCs. And it just works out the box. No dependencies required. I'm even talking about commonly used deep learning libraries like TensorFlow, which I use for this project, and PyTorch. I now understand that all the time that I wasted trying to get the tools to work in order to do a benchmark is exactly what NVIDIA is aiming to solve. There is actually a lot of tight stuff about what NVIDIA is working towards with the data science PCs. I unfortunately can't list it all here, but the last thing I want to share with you is that it's called the data science PC, but it can be used for other things like gaming, rendering, simulations, honestly you name it. <laughs> I honestly love this thing so much, Pooget please let me keep it. It's not a joke, like seriously, can I keep it? If you're in the market for a high performing PC for all your data science needs, please check out the ordering details in the link in the description. <laughs> not only will you help out this channel, but you'll also help out yourself. <laughs> Puja Systems offers high performance PCs cheaper than the one that I use in this video and even have consultants that will answer any questions that you have before making a purchase. So go ahead and check out a data science PC today. And now time to see the algorithm you've been waiting for. <laughs> yes, yes, look at us now. I've wanted to do real time like clips on my channel for the longest time. And now that we have this algorithm, I finally think that uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of these. Now this algorithm isn't done. Like there's still a lot of problems with it, but 
Um, throughout the year, you'll see me like slowly improving it as the time goes on. So just keep an eye out for that. And I don't want to ramble on too long. I'm sure you're super bored of this pan face camera talking. So last thing I want to say is thanks again to Nvidia and Pujit for saying that PC. I don't know how long it would take to train this algorithm without their PC. And uh, don't let your dreams be memes.